I don't know, there's just no, no place like home. And uh, I tell you people out there, make it what it is. I guess I'm known for a lot of long words and uh, I see you all out there freezing. <laughs> but I guess first and foremost, I just want to thank you for, for coming out and, and paying a tribute to, to us. But it's really not a tribute to us at all. It's really a tribute to so many other people. And I had lots of good things I was going to say, and maybe I'll say them, but I do want to say one thing. There are, there are no small people in this program. There are no small people on Apollo 17. It doesn't make any difference whether you swept out the white room or whether you passed coffee in MCC or whether you kept the sharks already during recovery. Everybody on this flight was a big man. There are no little guys. And if I can borrow just a quick phrase or a quick word that I read, yesterday that our president used in terms of, a wor of words of Sir Isaac Newton. We stood on the shoulders of giants, and I thank you for those shoulders, because without them, we, we certainly couldn't have done anywhere near half of what I think and I hope we were able to accomplish. We're proud. I think Apollo 17 did something that's going to make Apollo live and stand longer than ever before. I think we've taken mankind into a new era. The United States has led us into this era, and I think it's going to lead us into the future. Whatever confidence you had in us, you can just multiply that by a hundredfold for the confidence we had in you. I thank you. God bless you. And I'm just looking forward to sharing every minute and every moment with every one of you. And I've got the secret for being a successful commander. All you got to do is fill up the right seat with Captain America and Dr. Rock <laughs> and sit back and let them do their thing. So let me give you Captain America, the, the newest captain in the Navy. You know, they asked you, what's the, uh, what's the most exciting thing about your flight? I think uh, we have uh, let you know our enthusiasm while we're up there on the flight. But the best part of it is coming home and being with the people here in Houston. It really is. And while we're up there, whenever the commander was hot, we turned the spacecraft up, you know, or down, and it got cool in there. Whenever the commander was cool, we all got hot in there. <laughs> commander, would you tell Houston uh, to kind of warm things up here a little bit? <laughs> you know, one serious little thought that I would like to, to leave, I think, is that, that we, and by we, I don't mean the three of us, or even the people that worked on uh, the spacecraft here in Houston and the rest of the part of the United States, but when I say we, we of the United States of America, I feel, can be proud that we culminated the beginning of man's exploration with Apollo 17. And I think that's very important. You know, when we uh, lifted off, there were two Navy men aboard the spacecraft and a civilian. When we uh, were aboard the carrier, right in front of the Admiral, the captain of the ship, and the whole crew, we got our third crew member to swear his allegiance to the United States Navy. <laughs> and I would like I would like, at this time, to introduce Seaman Apprentice, <laughs> Dr. Lunar Module Pilot, Jack Smith. <laughs> Fellow explorers, <laughs> cold explorers. You know, we, when I worked in Alaska, we had an expression for how cold it is, but I can't repeat it. <laughs> the, uh, the question of whether or not I'm in the Navy is still uh, somewhat debatable because it, they called it a re-enlistment and I never belonged before. And uh, there was some duress involved in the whole operation. <laughs> I do want to uh, say I've never really felt like Houston was home until today and uh, finally I think I can say uh, it was like coming home. And I want to thank you all for coming out. I have to say that for the whole crew. And uh, I'll leave you one thought that we, uh, we've evolved into space and let's keep going there. You guys did it. We just helped you out a little bit, but mainly you helped us. Thank you very much.
thank you all for coming let's let them go home with the family good morning